What's up everybody, it's Joe from JLW Games coming at you with another cool video back in Planet Coaster and Westwood once again. So today we're going to be working on a lot of different things, but uh, it's going to be a pretty productive episode, but at the same time I felt like I didn't get that much done. So what we're doing here is I actually built these, um, kind of like these speaker lampposts that's also going to play music and also provide some light and I put them throughout the queue line here and I'm going to put them through quite a bit throughout the park uh, to provide a little bit of music for for the guests and also some light on some areas that need light uh, for when it's dark out and then over here we also uh, add on to a little bit of the scenery for this uh, queue line uh, we actually add a little bit on the hillside over here which is actually really cool and today I am proud to announce that we will be getting a little bit very very slightly into the invention company uh, section of the park and we get uh, and we get started with that by the funnest thing imaginable and that's starting out with the roller coaster over there so we'll get there when we get there but um, for now um, we're gonna be working on this um, we don't again we don't work a l too much on the invention invention company today uh, just like the start of the coaster station and like the lift hill of the the coaster over there and that's about it so um over here we i wanted to create a little bit of a scene for uh the guests standing in the queue line at this point and it's going to be very well themed and it's going to have uh kind of like a minecart effect and kind of like a ghostly effect at the same time and you'll kind of see what i mean by that so uh, we're going to add a lot of foliage around and make it look nice and nifty and uh, this is a nice little hillside that I thought would work really cool for some uh, interesting scenery that would uh, work well for the park so um, anyways uh, as you can see we put, I put like this little railroad track and stuff like that to kind of simulate you know that this uh, guy was a my uh, actually worked in the mining company and stuff like that so this this ride can kind of go either way with the mining company slash uh, the ghost town, but I thought it worked well with the ghost town, obviously, since the Iron Ghost ride. And uh, there's a lot of mine carts everywhere, and uh, it's going to be a nice little. Uh, the cool thing about this scene, I think, is the special effects, adding some of the mist in here, and it looks really cool at night. Um, once you see, I do add some uh, lights into this as well, and at night it looks pretty stinking awesome and uh, pretty intimidating at night, not to be honest. And it's going to be a really uh, cool addition to the queue line I think and uh, while you're staying in line you know you get to experience all this stuff going around you so you're at least uh, you know a little bit entertained while you're uh, standing in line so as you can see the blue lights just add to this and it looks so eerie and kind of cool and it's like oh let me hide the lights a little bit so guests can't see them but I want to make it look a little bit realistic and uh, the lights look really cool so that's pretty much it for that scene I'm going to add a little bit later, but uh, I want to add a little bit of mist uh, to this guy over here as well, who is kind of like a little outlaw guy. Um, he was supposed to look kind of like a ghost, but uh, I kind of failed at that, but it's okay. And uh, so yeah, this this little scene, uh, pretty simple, and uh, you know, you have to add, uh, I wanted to fill in the gaps a little bit, so I added some uh, rock structures and stuff like that, a little bit of rock work, and it's looking pretty good itself, so that looks really, really nice. And then the next thing I wanted to do, I wanted to make sure I had all these um, lamppost slash speakers all on the levels of the queue line. There's still a lot of, you know, scenery to add around this queue line to make it look or make it a little bit better for our guests. Uh, because the first level's getting the most love so far. The third level has like absolutely no theming yet so whatsoever yet. And we're going to have to change that uh, once we get around to it. And there's still a lot of stuff to do here in the ghost town. And by no means am I trying to rush every anything by moving on to the invention, invention company a little bit. Um, I literally just barely do anything over there uh, in this episode. So, um, But it's very, very good, uh, you know, uh, for to get, you know, look a little bit ahead a little bit. And uh, not look at the past uh, too much. And even though that... This theme park's looking at the past anyways. Uh, but I want to add a little bit of effect to the Iron Ghost, um, you know, entrance. Uh, and add, like, a little bit of a mist effect over there as well. Or, like, a fog effect over there. Which is actually really, really neat. It turns out quite nice. And then I wanted to build, uh, start building some buildings alongside the pathway here. Where it's very, very naked in between kind of the mining company and the ghost town. Uh, so this is still, this is all going to be the ghost town part of things. And uh, I spent a little bit of time trying to detail uh, a small building. Uh, so you'll, you'll notice it did take me a little bit of time to do this. And I kind of waste 
a lot of time trying to get this building at least looking quite nice even though it's pretty much an ice cream stall that's literally all this is and uh, i wanted to build buildings on the sides and uh probably make a lot of inactive or uh you know uh, buildings that aren't actually uh, gonna mean to attract desks because they're just gonna be kind of like facades pretty much uh, so I'm gonna have a lot of those alongside this pathway a lot and maybe a couple of different stalls and stuff like that but that's pretty much about it this is gonna be a very simple built kind of westerny type building uh, for the ghost town and um, western buildings are actually fairly easy to make um, if you know how to make them I mean they're not that hard you just gotta plop down some walls and you know just kind of get that uh they don't usually not all of them they do but not all of them ha really have pitched roofs they have the flat roofs you know with the uh kind of the design wall shapes at the top which kind of looks cool and stuff like that so and then i usually just add a couple of trims windows and some awnings over the windows and that usually uh, makes a pretty basic and pretty easy building uh, and I wanted to go as advanced as I could with here and uh, with the window try and make some custom um, objects as well this is kind of like little shutters on the side of the window um, that I kind of learned of making myself uh, while using or making the outlaw run recreation that I've been working on and I thought it was a good tool to actually remember and I actually use it right here so um, working on recreations actually helps my building skills, believe it or not, and uh, a little bit of advanced stuff here, and that's, that's kind of nice. So um, I, I really learned doing a lot of recreations actually does help a lot with your building skills, especially when you're trying to get something very exact, uh, and you kind of figure things out, you know, to make stuff look the way you want them. Uh, when it comes to, like, you know, original custom parks, though, it's, it's very interesting uh, to come up with concepts and stuff so you can actually use everything your kind of your knowledge that you've actually learned and use it on this kind of stuff so yeah this building looks pretty good I mean it's nothing too fancy it's not meant to be heavily detailed and that's kind of the point because it is kind of just a little stall ice cream stall <laughs> that is in the ghost town so and then uh, the final touch kind of here is just to add some windows at the top there uh, which looks pretty good and then you gotta, uh, wanted to add some lighting and then I want to put a little sign in here that actually had like a year on it like 18 or 1893 is what I, think, I think what I put on there uh, just to go with the theme and uh, you know just a little bit of lighting around the area makes it look pretty nifty and nice and I want to add like little lamps uh, at the ends here is something I wouldn't usually do and uh, I'm trying to step a little bit out of my comfort zone to make you know some decent buildings that uh, are really cool so that building turned out quite nice I'm quite pleased with it and even though it is very simple and stuff like that so I want to add like these little sidewalk pathways as well to kind of you know expand a little bit on the pathways uh, just a tad bit uh, to make them look a little bit better I wasn't very happy of how this turned out completely but it turned out all right I suppose and uh, you know just a little bit of fence over of a fence over here I might change it a little bit since it kind of went through itself uh, a little bit there but I almost tried to make it look like um, it's you know not poorly built or something like that uh, on purpose uh, you know just to make it look have that look that it's you know kind of poorly built in the first place so I was like well maybe I'll leave it and see how that works out so uh, anyways that's how this fence kind of works and it's a uh, custom fence you know that's you know built by me and stuff like that so a little bit of foliage here and there uh, behind this building uh, to kind of just fill in the gaps a little bit and uh, just to fill it up uh, a little bit and of course uh, because anytime there's gaps of grass and stuff like that I usually try to fill it up with some trees and foliage and stuff to make it look really really nice and that looks fantastic and now we go over here to the train station that drops you off at the ghost town and uh, I wanted to create a little bit of some uh, pathways over here as well um, this one didn't turn out as well as I had hoped because I was gonna try and merge it over there kind of with the other pathway didn't really work out so well because they were different colors and it was just kind of hard to get that there so I do end up kind of forgetting this pe part of it and just kind of going with what I build uh, in the end so you'll see here in just a little bit and I just kind of drop this idea and uh, just go on with my life with uh, other things because this could, didn't turn out very great <laughs> to, to say the least so um, I, I do kind of trash that and just kind of like go with a different kind of uh, idea for uh, this piece of pathway that's going to connect to the train station. Um, there's going to be possibly one other station. I think I'm going to put another station in the Invention Company. That way you can get traveled pretty much to all three different areas of the park. 
uh, or at least different areas of the park. The only area that's not going to have it, I think, is the mining company because it's literally right there next, pretty close to the other one uh, itself. So that's pretty, pretty interesting. So I do everything I can to try and save this, um, but it ends up not working and I just like kind of forget about the whole thing <laughs> pretty much and just kind of leave it there for right now until I kind of figure out and get a little bit better plan of how that's going to look. So for right now, I do get, end up getting rid of it, and uh, that's just gonna, gonna it's just how it's gonna be for right now, uh, until that kind of changes. And um, it's got a different path texture, and I'm kind of okay with that. Uh, you know, I think it adds to a park when you have multiple different textures in your park, and that works very well. So uh, of course, I just put like a lamp post with uh, speakers again. Uh, it will work really well right there and help light up that area. So I had some like employees quitting because they weren't making enough money and there was nothing going on. So I kind of increased some pays over there and stuff like that. So this is the moment you're probably all waiting for is the start of the invention company. So uh, I got a, a little bit of a space for the um, B&M floorless coaster that is going to be the B&M that's going to be over here is a B&M floorless. And uh, the only thing with this coaster is going to be kind of different from the other coasters. I want to make this one just a little bit more interactive uh, than the other ones. And when I say that, uh, th the reason why I actually get a little bit in the track layout is because I kind of want to get a feel of where it's going to be for the lift hill and stuff. Uh, now, the idea with this is that there's going to be pathways actually crossing under the lift hill a little bit so it's going to have a little bit of path interaction and stuff like that it's going to be kind of an interesting uh design and stuff like that i can't wait till it gets done so um i don't get really into the layout at all i just kind of get into the color scheme and the lift hill and that's about it for this uh for that uh and then i get straight into the station a little bit because i want to get the station and queue line kind of done first not like it doesn't have to be completely done before i get into the layout but uh, i wanted to get it started at least and then uh, we can use this part of the invention company and kind of use that as a guideline of where everything is going to kind of go so this invention company is going to have a lot of rides um, at least it's going to have the most rides uh, than any other section in the park. It's going to have a B&M dive, or B&M dive, a B&M floorless coaster here, and then it's also going to have uh, a lot of different flat rides, kind of, uh, that you would see, and a lot of, maybe like some of the carnival rides, and just stuff like that, and there might be a small carnival section as well, with more carnival rides than anything, and it's going to be kind of part of the invention company a little bit. It's going to be a fairly large area, I mean, there's, it's a pretty large uh, bit of land still left, connecting it back to, towards the entrance of the park. So it's going to be right next to the entrance of the park, and the ghost town is the furthest away from the entrance of the park, which, you know, obviously does kind of make sense. So um, you see it was all how that all works out, in a way. So this is going to have a nice long queue line, like, of course, all the other larger coasters. Um, it's going to have, you know... Uh, a very an enclosed queue line when we get to that here in just a little bit it's gonna have that enclosed queue line and then the station uh, i want it to be this nice wooden station that's kind of you know kind of beat down and kind of looks you know poorly put together because this contraption that uh this uh inventor has made uh is going to be like this so it, this is kind of a storyline still kind of developing in this coaster um, but this coaster, you know, the invention company is all about um, pretty much the inventions that are going on in, within the park. And uh, it's kind of like a very interesting section because it's like a full facility, almost like a facility of just wacky inventions uh, of, of transportation and stuff like that that uh, is developing. And uh, it's kind of kind of has a storyline in that way, if that makes sense. So this building is going to be rather large, at least that's my going to be my goal is to make this building quite large and quite um, big uh, because it's going to have a lot of queue line in it and it's just going to, I think it will look kind of cool. I have a vision of how it's going to look, but uh, we'll actually see how that actually turns out and uh, stuff like that. So anyways, uh, so you get a little bit of start of the invention company over here, which it's still going to obviously be you know, still like the uh, westerny type feel to it, but you're going to have a lot of different interesting contraptions and uh, theming in this area. It's going to be a very interesting area, in my opinion, and uh, one that I'm pretty excited about. So, 
Anyways, that's going to do pretty much do it for this episode. I hope you guys enjoyed. Make sure you comment, like, and subscribe for more content like this. And uh, let me guys know what you think of the B&M coaster and see how it's going to turn out. So anyways, thank you guys so much for watching. Make sure you have a great day and an even cooler tomorrow. Thank you guys so much, and I will catch you guys in the next video. Thank you, and wait for it. Goodbye.